Hello, today is Wednesday, September 30th. We will continue with our lesson of different forms of energy. Work or cost change. We will continue to learn about the five forms of energy using the strategy melt. Melt. There are different types of energy, including mechanical, electrical, light, thermal, and sound energy. Yesterday, we learned about sound energy. Remember that sound energy is energy produced by vibrations that you can hear. Vibrations can travel through air, water, liquids, or solids. Sound energy requires a medium in order to travel. Sound energy travels in waves. Think about what are some things that give off sound energy. Pause this video and write it in your notes. Remember that humans aren't the only ones that use sound. Animals use sound too. Many marine animals rely on sound to communicate. They can listen to the different changes in rate, pitch, or the structure of sounds to communicate different messages. They use sounds to protect themselves. Animals produce grunts, cloaks, clicks, and snaps that are used for protection. They're able to use sound for location of food. Dolphins and whales use echolocation to find food. They also use it to navigate underwater. Animals also use echolocation to help them find certain places. This is an example of how whales are able to tell how far away are those fish. Today's objective is, students will identify the different examples of thermal energy. These are the key points for today. Number one. There are different types of energy, including mechanical, light, thermal, electrical, and sound energy. Thermal energy is also known as heat energy. Temperature is a measure of how much thermal energy an object has. And temperature can be measured using a thermometer. Today, we will look at things that produce heat such as fire, stove, oven, the grill, the sun. Think about this. After I read the question, pause this video for about five seconds. How can you feel the heat when someone is using the grill? I know that if I touch the grill, I'm going to get burned, so I don't touch it, right? But how can you feel the heat when you're close? I know that energy, thermal energy is heat. And something that we're going to learn today is that warm air rises. And because warm air rises, I can feel the heat when I'm close to someone using the grill. Thermal energy is the same as heat energy. Thermal energy is the transfer of heat between two objects. Now, think about friction. We learned about friction last week. Friction is the force to slow things down. But if we rub our hands together, and you can try it right now, you rub your hands together, the friction will cause thermal energy. Which objects can produce thermal energy? There are many objects that can produce or make thermal energy. These are some of the most common ones. The sun, an oven, a candle. Now let's practice. Use your science journal to write down notes. Number one, which is an example of thermal energy making something work? 
pause the video and choose A or B. Now, A says a TV that has been on for a long time. Or B, air in an oven, baking a cake. So I can see that both of them are thermal energy. Activity that has been on for a long time will get warm. But is that making something work? No. Now letter B says, air in an oven, baking a cake. Is thermal energy making something work? Yes. It's baking a cake. So the answer is letter B. Two, which is an example of thermal energy making something work? Pause the video, choose A or B, and write down the reason why. Now, I can see that A, there's a solid cube, an ice cube, that is melting. Is the heat making the ice cube melt? The answer is yes. So this could be my answer. Now letter B. I can see the letter B. It's an example of sound energy. Sound energy will create that music. Therefore, my answer is A. Three. Which is an example of sound energy making something work? Pause the video and choose your answer. Make sure to explain why. Now, letter A says, a CD player playing music. Is sound energy making something work? Mm, yes, it's making the music. This could be my answer. Now, letter B, the humming of a refrigerator. Well, the humming is a sound, but it's making something work? No, that humming's not creating anything new. Therefore, my answer is A. What kind of energy is this? Why? Now, if I see this candle, I can see two different kinds of energy being demonstrated in this candle. So the candle is demonstrating light energy circle the L for light because when I turn on or light the candle it'll help me see in the dark but also I can see that the other type of energy is thermal energy thermal energy is the energy that you can feel the heat coming from the candle but also I can see that the wax from the candle is melting. So this is another evidence that the candle is demonstrated light because I can see in the dark and thermal because the wax is melting. What kind of energy is this? Why? There are different kinds of energy being demonstrated with this coffee maker. The first type of energy, that energy source that I can see is the electrical energy. So this coffee maker requires electrical energy in order to work. I can also see that it can, it uses light energy so we can see that it's ready. And I know that this coffee maker will warm the coffee so it'll be thermal energy remember it is electrical energy because it does have a wire and it needs this electricity to work light energy because we can see the small light in the front and number three thermal energy that you can feel the heat coming from the hot coffee What kind of energy is this and why? This is an easy one. This is a musical instrument. And this musical instrument is creating vibrations. Those vibrations are sound energy, music. What kind of energy is this and why? Even though the sun produces multiple types of energy, 
I know that this example shows thermal energy because I can see the sun rays. I can see the heat that is being provided to Earth. Today, we learned three things. Number one, we can use different forms of energy in our daily life. Number two, sound energy is vibrations that travel through air and we can hear. Thermal energy is energy from heat. Your next steps, number one, watch the extension videos to complete the independent practice, and number three, complete the exit ticket. And you all did such a good job sending me pictures of the demonstration of sound energy. Please make sure you send them to me if you have not done yet. Thank you.